<laughs> you two. You're meant to be licking and loving each other. So today we're going to be looking at some really cool facts that you may or may not know about lions. Please do remember to leave your comments uh, down below. Uh, especially the fact that you found the most interesting. Right, cool fact number one. Some lines, not all, like either citronella. There we go. There <gasps> we go. Or catnip. So Vajetsi doesn't like catnip, but Ginny and Livy absolutely adore it. So there she is licking it out of my hands. And she'll get that smell all over herself. She'll get that rubbing action and those endorphins will start to flow and she'll feel um, all happy. Lick, lick, lick. Nice, nice my boy. Cool fact number two is that most lionesses in the pride are related to some degree or another. There's the odd instance where a uh, foreign lady, if you will, will join up with the pride, but it is a rarity. So in most of the instances, the lionesses are related to some degree or another, and that is why they have such an amazing bond with each other. Um, there really is that uh, camaraderie within the pride and that, uh, that sisterhood. Uh, they've got each other's backs and they, they function as a unit. The males, on the other hand, come and go. And I'll get to that in fact number three. The male lions in the pride are immigrants. So a lion like Vajetsi, where are you going boy? So the male lions like Vajetsi are mostly immigrants and uh, this is uh, to ensure genetic diversity. So the pride will be hard fought by either a male or a coalition of males, normally brothers, but sometimes it is unrelated males that do meet up. Um, they obviously know that uh, their strength lies in numbers. So you'll have uh, two sometimes unrelated males meeting up to form a stronger bond so that they are able to take on a new pride. All right, interesting fact number four, guys, is that lions are digitigrade. Um, yeah, big fancy word, but basically all that that word means is that they don't walk on their feet, they walk on their toes. So if you look at the back foot of uh, Ginny over here, you can see that. <laughs> Sorry, my girlie, that over there is the foot and there <laughs> are the toes and the lion will only walk on that portion of the entire foot um, and that makes them digitigrade versus plantigrade, which is what we are, humans. Interesting fact number five, lions are the only cat species to exhibit a tufted tail. And I suppose it's pretty difficult for me to show uh, Livy's tail over there, or even Ginny's, but they are the only cat to have, to, whose tail actually ends in a, in a tuft. And within that tuft, if you prod and poke around, you'll notice that there's a little spinous process at the top. That's a remnant of something that they had genetically uh, somewhere along the line evolutionary and it was never fully lost. The function of it, we're not sure why, but it's just an interesting thing to note. Um, they don't have that tuft fully formed when they are cubs. That only comes after a couple of months 
Uh, when they are cubs, the tail is, is uh, completely straight and it only later forms into that uh, tuft that we so often see on a lion's tail, that little black tuft. And they have a very muscular tail. It's very, they are um, very able to control that. Uh, so it's thickly muscled and uh, a very interesting piece <laughs> of equipment that they have and uh, use. Interesting fact number six about lion is that they are the only cat species to be truly social. They live in prides. Another, another word for a pride is, is a, a troop or a sort, um, but we commonly call groups of lions prides. That's the word we use. Um, and they're the only cat species to, to live in these social structures. Other cat species like the cheetah do have uh, these structures with males particularly, but um, they don't live in these family units uh, like, like lions. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, grumpiness. Hey, hey, grumpiness. Another interesting fact, guys, lions are the only cat species to be so sexually dimorphic. What do I mean by sexually dimorphic? I mean, from a distance, we can quite easily see a male from a female because the male sports this big, impressive mane. Female, no mane, unless you're Meg, of course, and we all know the reasons behind that. All right, guys, and the last line fact I'm gonna leave you with for today is that there have been fossils found in Olduvai Gorge of lions which date back to two million years ago. So that is a phenomenal uh, thing to comprehend. It's a phenomenal number to, uh, to think that lions have been roaming this earth for two million or over two million years. And today we have numbers fewer than I would say 15,000 roaming in the wild. That's a sad, sad statistic. And um, yeah, not one to be proud of as human beings. Okay guys, so that's it for fun facts about lions, or at least the facts about lions that I find really fascinating, and I hope you did too. If you did, please do comment below what is uh, the fun fact that you found the most interesting. And also, we are forever interested in what kind of content you guys would like to see on the Lion Whisperer TV channel. So also comment uh, below on that. And yeah, we'll try and bring it to you. So without uh, further ado, all of that's left for me to say is cheers uh, from me, from Jenny, from Vietzi, and Livy. Bye.